Hey, welcome back. Stage five. So, Perry Nice has made some rule changes. Yes, day before yesterday, it was all about the uh, team time trial changes. Another thing they've done is increase the time bonus for the um, intermediate sprints, which has made um, them a lot more competitive. It's like normally you just see the sprinters up here vying for the uh, sprint in hopes of uh, securing the green jer jersey. Also, they've changed the color of the green jersey, changed sponsors, and therefore changed the color. And that is not good because <laughs> it's not a bright green anymore. But with a six second time bonus, sorry, I need to check somebody's number here. Um, with a six second time bonus, um, it really makes a difference in the GC. In fact, we've watched, and I'll get to his painting him in a moment, the current race leader has been using that to his advantage. In fact, he has picked up two out of the three sprint bonuses thus far. So he's added 12 seconds to his time, which turned out to be real useful when his team didn't exactly give him the best team time trial. So that's uh, Tade. I got you here. Um, and he's, he is nevertheless in the yellow jersey. So, um, based on his incredible climbing yesterday, you can see, although it is happy to say is sold, him his quite commanding win atop um, the mountaintop, excuse me, finish yesterday. And kind of dropping all but one of his main rivals. <laughs> Apparently, I'm going to paint everybody I'm talking about. Because just ahead of him right now, this guy right here, Goudot, the French rider on the French team, is just 10 seconds behind him, took second on yesterday's stage. But... Uh, Kind of a real surprise to see him here now actually sprinting this out. Even more so right now, he's in a great position <laughs> because he's kind of got Tade box, boxed in. And as um, Bob Roll and Krishna were saying, you know, he's boxed in, but it's not like they did anything. Tade just picked a bad line. So this is, um, can't quite make out the number. Looks like 15. Oh, I can't see. I'll have to check that in a minute. But his teammate is just looking back right now to see where Gudo is, and probably in addition to see where Tade is, but they've got him in a perfect position, leaving a lane open for um, Gudo to go forward in, but simultaneously kind of leaving. Um, Tade is sort of stuck up against the edge of the grass. And some of the fans along the side of the road. You know, really, like if it was just grass, he might have a chance to just sort of like pop out, but nope. So we have 
Matteo Trenton. No, that's not Matteo Trenton. That's Matteo Jorgensen. A very un-American sounding American cyclist on the Spanish team. Now, he's in the white jersey, which actually belongs to Tade. But there's a pecking order of jerseys and clearly the race leader's jersey. I lost my paintbrush. Do you all see it? Ah, there it is. <laughs> Obviously, the yellow jersey takes precedence, so if a rider has multiple jerseys, there's a pecking order and yellow being the top of the pecking order. So while Tade is leading also as the youngest now, if he's in the yellow jersey and he's a young rider, almost by definition he would be in the white jersey as well. So Jorgensen is second place in that, so he gets to wear the jersey in lieu. Actually, right now, Tade is in possession of three jerseys. He also has the sprint jersey lead. But by virtue of winning multiple stages, well, not winning these intermediate sprints to gain seconds, that has also given him the sprint lead. So that is on um, Mads Pedersen's shoulders right now because he's second in that competition by just a few seconds. A little surprised he's not up here, but I guess he's, they like to use the phrase, saving his powder, <laughs> keeping his powder dry for the... Um, sprint finale and of course there's this is six points and the sprint is ten points so he could not do well here he could not contest and still take over the lead because more likely than not Tade will not be involved in this sprint for the stage but with Tade you never know <laughs> you just don't which is a great thing about watching him race So now it's just laying in the colors of each of the riders. And again, as you can see, I'm working warm to cool. Um, so to help prevent polluting colors, so I'm really disappointed with FTJ changing their jerseys used to be a dominantly white jersey with red and blue I mean they still have red and blue although you really can't see the red so their colors are based on the French flag but not quite as um, markedly as they used to be it seems like this year blue jerseys was the uh, choice of the peloton so and because while local color is not the overriding concern in my artwork local color meaning the color things actually are um, when painting cycling, I sort of have to stick <laughs> with the colors of the jerseys and the colors of the teams because that's how you know it's them. So like you can't really read the... Um, Sorry, read the markings of the FTJ jerseys in my painting, but you know them by the bib number 
in many cases people recognize who I've painted just by the style of the rider. There are riders that have very specific ways they sit on the bike. Most notably Chris Froome, who's not here and sort of moved to the end of his career, but he had a very crab-like way of riding, so it made it very easy to pick him out. But other riders have similar characteristics to the way, or have similar distinctive positions on the bike. And of course, distinctive sizes is like, it was stunning while watching the Team Tribe trial, just how much smaller the GC guys like Vingago are than the rest of their team. And with that, you know, so obviously the scale of a rider will help indicate who it is too. So, and you can notice I've given this a little bit of an angle. See how these lines are not straight up and down and the riders come in. Now part of that is the perspective, but that's something you want to include in the image to help give it a little more dynamicism if, or that more dynamic appearance. And now also to that end, gonna lay in these shadows. And they're always nice to help inform the image as well, give it a little more Um, visual interest. Of course, I forgot to title this. And one of the things now, because I put water there, I'm going to have to wait to be able to do the titling because the ink will um, bleed, is the word I think I want, into the um, into that water. So of course the white jersey giving it a little bit of and his foot. So you know the white socks, the white jersey and stuff like that giving it just a little bit of shadow. And again white with watercolor is paper. So it, it's a bit of a trick to know to leave to avoid putting color down in the areas you want to be white, like the white jersey. Also, you can see, as I lay this roadway in, I'm following that slight diagonal straight up and down here, so the brush is straight up and down, so that if there's any streaking, it helps inform the directional lines of the piece. And it's just a little subtle thing that had I not mentioned it, you probably wouldn't have noticed it, but it's the little, almost subliminal pieces of the painting that inform it that just, just that much more. And also by laying in the color on the road, that pops that white jersey more too. So that's the piece except for signing and um, titling it. So we know Godot is 61. And because we can't quite make out that number, we'll just make it blurry. All right. come up with anything better so we'll just call it bonus also it should be noted as I write the date that today is Bridget's birthday 
Bridget of Bridget's favorite. If you watch all the posts, Bridget's my wife. Bridget's the one who actually got me to do the YouTube stuff, to do the blog, to actually paint bike racing. Literally all of my good ideas are hers. So give a shout out. Oh, I'm gonna put a little bit of grass in here. Give a shout out to Bridget if you know her. If you don't know her, your loss. Very talented actor, very brilliant woman, and somebody I'm very fortunate to call my wife. So happy birthday, Bridget. And as always, if you like what you see, subscribe. That way you'll see everything when it pops up. And as always, thanks for watching. Remember, paint what you know, know what you paint. Love what you paint, hopefully. That's a little harder. And paint what you love. Clearly, I love cycling. Thank you all so much.